I know I'm going to confront a lot of obstacles and challenges. Edwin Ortiz served 29 years for felony murder. When they finally walk free, Ortiz and other prisoners can struggle against other constraints. No place to live, no job, not even an ID. You know, being um, an ex-felon, having served almost three decades in the prison system, coming home, not having that work history, um, it's going to be a little difficult. What were you convicted of? Homicide. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, being around the wrong people. Omari Atiba's also served 29 years. At the age I am now, 50, I still have fears, you know, because you come in, I'm coming out in a society that's totally changed. To increase their chances of making it on the outside, Atiba, Ortiz, and scores of others soon to be ex cons commute daily from a halfway house to the Greater Newark Conservancy's Prisoner Reentry Initiative. The program's designed to help ex prisoners hurdle those obstacles with work like landscaping, maintenance, and construction. They get job and computer training. So basically, just getting on the computer. I didn't know how to turn it on. So, <laughs> so. Our goals are ultimately to get people reentered into society hopefully productive job and, and reestablish with their family. Robin Doherty runs the Conservancy program, part of the larger New Jersey Reentry Corporation. It enrolled 530 clients statewide this year. Oh, this program is out of sight. They gave me a suit, gave me shoes, gave me everything for my job interviews. Warren Gore served 26 years for drug conspiracy. He wants a job mentoring city teens. In order for the kids to get it, they have to have somebody that they look up to or they respect. Or somebody who has some street cred. Um, and you say that you basically walk that walk, they will listen to you. I know they will. If you have a problem, you get to s sit down and talk to a person like you're a human being. You know what I'm saying? They really care. Maurice Valentine did 22 years, multiple stints behind bars. When he gets out next month, Valentine will work at ShopRite because the program helped restore his driver's license. Because all the jobs I applied for, they say you need a valid license. We're going to work on that, Mr. Valentine, and they worked on it for me, and it came through. New Jersey's Reentry Corp today hosted Governor Christie to observe National Reentry Week. In terms of our recidivism rate of our clients in all of our sites, it's only 19 percent as opposed to a national average of over 65 percent of people going back into prison after three to five years. We're continuing a real human commitment that's building a strong foundation to help ex-offenders assimilate back into society to lead productive lives, meaningful lives. I'm basically re-educating myself, learning more, you know, getting myself prepared for this type of, of being a citizen. As New Jersey reduces its prison population, former inmates come home, 1,700 a year in Newark alone. That makes programs like this one crucial. In Newark, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.